Hey, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's a big day. Got a lot of stuff to do. We're going to hook up these two batteries in parallel to combine that bank from 300 to a 600 amp hour bank, which is quite a bit. And to start this project, I was waiting on these cables to tie these in parallel with. So now that I've got the cables, it's ready to go. And to start with, we're using the uh, Victron Blue Smart Charger to charge up the new one to full. And the reason we're charging this one up to full uh, is per Chin's recommendations to uh, charge the new edition up to full and then connected it to the second battery that we have been using. Uh, and I'm going to get that up to full too. It's charging off of solar. This one's charging off the generator. And this one's going to get there pretty quick. And by looking at the handy app for the Victron charger, you can see that I'm currently at 13.59 volts with 30 amps coming in. And I've been charging it for, if you look down here, I'll try and bring those in. It's been charging now for an hour and two minutes. I started at 13.1, so it doesn't have a long way to go. It's going to get up there pretty quick. I'm an hour, just, just a little over an hour in to charging. And I'm at 13, be at 13.6 here pretty quick. So it's going to... I'll keep track of it. I'll let you know how long it took to get all the way up. And then after that is done, get the other one charged up and get them tied together, revamp the system. The other thing we're going to do today is since we're taking everything apart and we have the extra cables, we're going to swap out these cables in back here, uh, which are doubled up. They came with the inverter going to match it with this one here. I'm getting just a slight voltage uh, deviation on the inverter instead of running at a pure 120, it's at 123, which is not overly concerning, but I'm hoping that when I switch uh, these cables out here and match it with that one, that I might get a little uh, better reading on that. I'm not sure that I will. I've seen other people running that inverter, and they run it about one. 23 volts anyway so uh, charging continues and we'll be back when that's done and get the rest of this hooked up and just to give you a little update on how this thing's working the fan is running continuous on this it's very quiet I don't even know if you'll detect it there but I've got it set on the lithium setting and it's still in the bulk phase and I'm just curious to watch these parameters on this for the first time I'm using it to take uh, this battery all the way up but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that this thing is very very hot to the touch fans running everything's running fine the wires are not why none of the wires are warm at all either coming off of there onto the batteries nothing no no heat whatsoever but I just thought I'd give a little operational note on this thing pretty hot to the touch fans running don't feel a lot of air moving back there but the fan is running so I guess they just run kind of hot I notice that on the other charger as well it gets a little hot but that's a little hotter than I would have expected, just as a side note. I'll keep an eye on it, but I think everything's working fine. Okay, it's been charging 2 hours and 55 minutes, and it just put in 90 amp hours into that battery. So, you can see that the charger is working in the high 90th percentile uh, at putting 30 amp hours an hour into the battery. Because there it is, just shy of three hours, and it's at 90 amp hours. And after pushing 90 amp hours, it's at 13.62, 
and it'll go up here pretty quick. And here it is at 13.71 volts, uh, and it's still allowing 30 amps in while it does the bulk charge. This graph here has not changed since the beginning. So I'm thinking it's going to call it good at a bulk charge here pretty quick. If I go to the history, and right there, you can see four hours and two minutes I've been running. And it's put in 124.5 amp hours. So that's where it's at right now. I'll go back to the history part of it. That's total up there, so the status is what I'm looking for. I, I think any any minute here, I'm curious as to what numbers this will start to taper off as it and what it will consider an absorption uh, charge to go in there. It, it should be going up pretty quick there. It went to 1372. So I expect the current to come down and I'm going to see how that goes from what it calls a bulk charge into the absorption, but should be getting there pretty quick. I'll let you know. 13.74. I'm kind of surprised it's still allowing 30 amps in and actually I'm surprised that <clears throat> with 30 amps coming in it's not pushing it up faster, but um, I think it's doing exactly as it should. Just to let you know, this thing still, the sides, very hot. Up on the top, not so much. The fan has run the entire time, but both the sides, hot to the touch. So, just waiting for this current to drop. 13.77, still 30 amps coming in. <clears throat> just wanted to let you know I also did uh, use the voltmeter to see how accurate uh, the charger readings were and they were spot on. They both read exactly 13.77. So since this is the first time I've used uh, the charger for a complete charge, I've been keeping a close eye on it uh, with the voltmeter and making sure that it's accurate so I don't have to watch it so closely the next time. But just to let you guys know that uh, it's, it's just matching up perfectly with the voltmeter, so you can trust what you're reading on your app. And I should be getting done here pretty quick. So there we are at 14.02 volts, still letting in 30 amp hours, which I guess this kind of surprises me. I, since I don't know exactly uh, where this preset... Uh, lithium setting is on this charger. It doesn't give you the exact parameters. You can go into the advanced settings and set it yourself for exactly what you want. The charger I was using before took it up to 14.2 uh, and then it just shut the uh, charger off. So this is what I'm doing here is trying to find out what's going to happen here. So I know it's like watching paint dry but anyway it's a uh, Still allowing 30 amps in at 14 volts, which I guess that kind of surprises me, but I'll know here in a minute what's going to happen. Okay, well I just couldn't be happier. It just now clicked over to 14.2, and the current is dropping, and, is, and this screen finally changed to its absorption charge. And it says under there, battery is charging at constant voltage, and with this decreasing current until it is fully charged. It also said in the bulk stage of it that once it went to absorption that fully 95% of your battery was available and that's correct. So I'm really really happy about this because um, I was thinking about going into the advanced settings and and setting it to basically this exact parameter. I want 14.2 to be my top end. That's how I've got the, the battery in the back set for on the charge controller and knowing that this uh, Victron Blue charge 
smart charger uh, is going to do the same thing. That's perfect. So there we are just pumping in about 24 amps in there as it does its uh, absorption charge. So anyway, that's uh, great information for me. I can walk away from this charger the next time I'm using it. Uh, I stayed on it really tight today just so I would know how it operates. And it's absolutely perfect. And the other thing I'll say is the Bluetooth. Uh, the reason I've had to stay so close in here today instead of sitting out on the lanai uh, is the Bluetooth wouldn't reach that far. So like the smart battery, uh, this smart charger also it doesn't have a very long Bluetooth range. I'm going to say maybe 10, 15 feet unobstructed. But I've been in here within just a few feet of the uh, charger to, to make it work properly today. So they don't have a great range on their Bluetooth, but they do work just fine. But you're going to have to be kind of close to the unit. So there we go. Just going to finish this charge off. And... That's going to be all I do for today. Tomorrow I'm going to do the same thing to the other batteries so I know when I connect them in parallel they're at an even state of charge. And then we'll go from there. Also, besides uh, reading it on uh, this app here, uh, the light did go on the charger itself into absorption mode there is a light so you don't have to monitor it like I have been with the Bluetooth you can just take a quick glance at your charger and it will show you what stage you are in but now we know uh, at what voltage that's going to kick over to absorption stage and it was 14.2 and here it is just holding it rock steady at 14.2 as it continues to decrease the current down to only 10 amps as it finishes up its absorption charge. And so the time lapse would be, it looks to me like it's going to just be about a 20 minute absorption charge on here. I didn't actually time that, but that's what it looks like it'll be about. So it's, it's just about completely done. So it decreased the current down to about 4 amps coming in before after probably 20, 25 minutes, and then it just now cut the current off. So we're going to call that a wrap. I was planning on showing you the whole thing, but this got a little bit more involved. What I was doing was bringing this new battery up to a full state of charge as recommended by the manufacturer Chins before hooking it up to another fully charged battery in parallel. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I get that battery up to full charge. And I won't show any of that. I just wanted to go over what it initially looked like today on one. I'll do that to that one tomorrow, and then I will hook it up in parallel and get everything uh, working right. So, thanks for uh, hanging in there with me on this one. I know there was a lot of information, but I hope it was useful to a lot of you that are doing the same things or thinking about doing the same things. So that's the end of a charging day using that Victron Blue Smart Charger. It worked uh, better than I expected. It's, it's going to be a no-brainer when I, I'm probably going to wall mount that thing. So when I do need it, it's ready to go. But there I am, fully charged, perfect, ready to go. Just probably a little bit of a charge on that other one tomorrow, and then connect up some cables, and that project will be done. So thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you. Thanks for subscribing. Hanging in there to the end. Aloha.